We honor Frank Galata not only for his skill as an outfitter, but for the example he set for us. In the beginning of the 20th century, he laid the foundation for the way for us to live here in the beginning of the 21st. He worked for the forces of progress, working for the railroads as they spread across Western Canada. He outfitted the first survey crew for the Alaska Highway. He packed for oil explorers and miners. But even as progress became inevitable, he never wavered from his deep personal conviction that people should leave nature better than they found it and not take more than they need. He never overhunted and was a conservationist before it was clearly defined. He lived the outdoors with all of his senses. He hunted with a camera as well as a gun. He was a painter of outdoor art and a writer for Outdoor Life magazine. Frank Alotta was one of those people who was trained to live within the constraints of civilization, but made the choice to follow the call of his heart to wide open wild. Born to Polish immigrant parents, he grew up in the railroad foundry town of Dunkirk, New York, on the shore of Lake Erie. As a young man, he developed a great love for the outdoors, camping, fishing, skiing, and hunting in the Adirondack Mountains. Knowing there were higher mountains and wilder spaces, he soon headed west into Canada and kept going west, exploring as he went. He followed the grain threshers across the prairies into Alberta and there found his home close to the Peace River. He farmed, but his reputation as an explorer was spreading. He was hired as a guide for the Henry Party in 1928 and the Charles Budo expedition in 1932. Frank guided for Count Letabo and learned the outfitting business. In 1936, he guided an Ohio hunter, Mr. L.S. Chadwick, in search of stone sheep. The Chadwick Ram taken on that hunt is the only North American wild sheep ever recorded with horns that measured more than 50 inches. Frank's name was now tied to history, and he became a full-time outfitter. He and his wife lived happily beside the Peace River for 46 years, always close to the nature he loved. Upon his retirement in 1959, they moved about as close to civilization as Frank wanted to be where he spent his time fishing and watching the seasons change. Frank once said, if I had to live my life over again, I wouldn't change a thing. Those are words that can only be uttered by a man who lived doing what he loved and at peace with the way he did it. As an outfitter, Frank Galata showed us the way to the wild peaks. As a man, he showed us the way to love and respect the land and its marvelous creatures. <laughs>